Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ragdolls, the above average gamer. I am incredibly sick. I just got back yesterday from the state fair. And uh, I think I got food poisoning because did a little bit of throwing up last night and couldn't go to sleep. And now uh, I just feel like garbage today. So we'll see. And today I decided to play this uh, monstrosity of a game because everybody keeps telling me to fucking play it, put it on the channel. So I'm going to try it. And, uh, God, I fucking hate Battlefield 3. This is like the worst game ever. You think fucking the COD community is terrible? This, this community is fucking terrible. Not only can you not hear anybody, but if you're not good at this game, you just get fucking raped for 12, 13 hours because nobody ever has a fucking time limit on their server. So it just takes forever. Games just last for God knows how long. Just, uh, it's just, it's just hell. So it's kind of like being stuck in rush hour traffic all fucking day. All maps 24-7. Strike a car. That doesn't make any sense. How can it be all maps 24-7? Oh, God. I don't know which one to pick. We're just going to pick any of them. There we go. We're done. Select it. Who cares? What the hell are we even playing? So, the main reason why I like this game so much is that it's more for like the relaxed player and people say it's more realistic it's about the same realism as Call of Duty is there's nothing really realistic about this game other than the lighting looks a lot better but I'm not a huge fan um, I don't just like a game because it has good graphics I like the game because of the playability if the game is good then I'm gonna want to play it and Call of Duty is a good game people talk shit about how Call of Duty puts out the same thing and like dude so do the, like half the rap artists and music artists out there they all put out generally the same product it just might sound a little bit different every time but it's basically the same fucking product so for somebody to tell me that's not the same would not make any sense just because the words are different doesn't necessarily change anything so if it's not too loud I got the fan going on I just got my PlayStation fix believe it or not I uh, my PlayStation broke on Saturday, right after I was finished recording the videos, uh, the last COD videos that I did, and I was going to move to um, playing Skyrim, so I turned the game off, and um, apparently that did nothing. Um, apparently it just, um, I pulled the game out, and uh, fucking, it just went fucking crazy anyway. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what happened, um, but... Something, like, it was basically yellow light of death. I can't, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but it's the second time I've gotten it. But it's not a big deal. There's a place called Game Day Resources, and they always seem to take care of me. And it's really cheap. It was like 50 bucks the first time I went to go get it fixed. And it was on warranty still. So I got it fixed for free on uh, on Friday. I took it in on Friday. I did the videos on Friday. Um, or I don't know if it was Thursday night. I don't really know how to explain I guess Thursday night is when I did the videos. Um, and so Friday... I took it in right after work, and I had it back on Saturday. Um, so if you guys have ever have any problems um, with your PlayStations, don't let people who own Xbox sit there and talk shit all day like they always fucking do because they think they're fucking badass. And it's just a fucking system. Not one is any better than the other. And actually, it's been proven that the graphics card on the uh, Xbox 360 is a little bit worse than the graphics card that is on a uh, PS3. Um, and if you don't believe me, look up the comparisons of Skyrim. And uh, Battlefield 3 on in comparison to PC, P PS3, and um, Xbox 360. And they were using the newest Xbox 360, the, the model that came out I don't know, a couple years back. Um, the older PlayStation and the new PlayStation. And then, of course, any P PC. I think they used an Alienware PC to test the graphics. And it looked phenomenal on PC. Of course it always does. Um, Xbox, the shadow rendering was a little bit off. Uh, lighting looked really good on both PS3 and Xbox, but the shadow rendering was a little bit off. Like something about, you couldn't even really see some of the shadows on some Xbox games. And that I don't care about. Who fucking cares? It's fucking shadows. That's why I get so mad. Like, kids are talking about how one system's better over the other because shadow rendering is slightly better on other systems. It's a fucking gaming system. It doesn't even matter. If you like playing video games, then buy one or the other. When it comes down to, to buying a, like a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360, just just go with whatever you were used to having. If you bought an Xbox like fucking 10 years ago when they first came out with, then stick to Xbox. If that's what you like, then that's what you like. 
I think people like Xbox a little bit better because it's kind of user friendly if you're into PC gaming. I don't play on PC ever. The only thing I really play is like Happy Wheels or Minecraft, and <laughs> those aren't necessarily PC games. They're just kind of like games. So I don't know. It's all about preference. But back to what I was saying. Um, if you guys ever have any issues with your PS3 or your Xbox 360 or what have you, uh, go to Game Day Resources. I swear you will be happy. I'm not sure how many locations they've opened. I know there's quite a few here in Sacramento and in the San Francisco area. Um, so if you guys have any issues, bring it there. They do basically everything for around the same price. Um, they do cleanings for like $40. which basically they take apart the entire system, clean it out for you so everything looks brand new. And then they do, um, uh, uh, freaking, what do you call it? Um, like Yellow Light of Death, Red Ring of Death. They do basically everything. It's, it's phenomenal. And, and literally, the, the work that they can do and that they're capable of doing is perfect. I've never been dissatisfied with everything they did. Um, so when I got Yellow Light of Death on my PS3, and the thing is six years old. Keep that in mind. I've not had a single problem with this thing, um, for the past six years. Uh, wasn't until this year I really started having problems. Six years is a long ass time to not have problems, and it's a first gen PS3. It's still got the Chrome. It's humongous. Um, it looks like it's got the Spider-Man emblem on the front. You guys remember like the Spider-Man font from that movie? Uh, so it's good. I, I I love this PS3. I've had it for so long, and uh, I was really upset when it first uh, died because I mean PS3 is in my life, but fuck, I need my PS3. <laughs> I need video games. You know, they don't have to be your life. But p v video games are, you know, they're the kill time for everything. Wow, what the fuck am I dying from? Do you see how fucking awful this game is, guys? This is fucking stupid. You want to talk about camping all day? This is the fucking camping championship gaming fucking video game. Battlefield 3 is by far the worst installment of any video game I've ever played. And not that I've been a huge fan of Battlefield, but I really only liked Battlefield when it was like Battlefield 1942. And then Battlefield 1943 came out. That game was fucking rad um, for PlayStation 3 and for Xbox, so that was cool. Um, other than that, I don't fucking know. I don't have to fucking tell you. Great, I fucking died. Awesome, perfect. Fucking died again. Um, yeah, other than that, I fucking hate Battlefield for this whole reason. People just sit there in a fucking tank and just rape for nine fucking hours. And then they complain about how Call of Duty, Call of Duty's too hard because people are camping all day. Fuck you, dude. This is the camping video game. If you want to camp, you got fucking like 24 square goddamn miles to camp. This is, oh my god. I've never been this fucking irritated by a video game in my life than this fucking video game. Oh, vehicle destroyed. Thank you, God. Finally, how long did that take? Six and a half fucking hours? Holy jeebas El Cristo. Vehicle destroyed assist. Awesome. We did virtually nothing because the dude who was in the vehicle probably fucking ran away. I don't know what the fuck I'm shooting at. Who the fuck am I shooting at? Who the fuck's shooting at us? Oh, great. You see what I mean? And then, like, the aiming is fucking weird. Like, I don't want to fucking... If I don't have a real fucking gun... I don't want to really aim. I want a fucking Call of Duty aim where it fucking does it for you. I'm playing with a fucking controller, not a real gun. What the hell is this? Like, I, there's a limit to realistic physics, guys. There really is. And this shit's fucking stupid. It's kind of the same, but when you're moving, you're, like, you're fucking bouncing around and shit. It's fucking stupid. Oh my god, this fucking game. And you just, you, you'll die. You won't even know why the fuck you fucking died. Until after you view the camera and some dude sitting like 600 fucking miles away from you. Oh, great. Fucking perfect. Hold O. What the fuck is this gonna... I'm probably gonna fucking die. Guaranteed. Holy shit, we didn't fucking die, guys. Oh, wait. Okay, good. We won. Fantastic. So that's Battlefield 3. If you haven't played this game, don't fucking buy it. It's stupid and it takes fucking forever. The maps are way too huge. And so yeah, that's uh that was me playing Battlefield. How many kills did I get? Like four? Is it four kills? Sometimes you'll do phenomenal. Sometimes when I play this game, I'll just have a game that's like perfect. It's like I couldn't even complain. I'll get twenty three kills. I still die a fuckload of times, but twenty three kills, that's like a heart attack for me. How many five kills? I did six times. There you go. Average kill <laughs> Not really. It's not average. Like everyone else is getting like twenty seven kills, but these are tanks. More than likely, people you see with like 20 kills in a tank. 27 kills in a tank. 
That's that's the only way to go. So fuck this game. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna switch to Skyrim because I gotta start that series, which I'm excited about. Get excited for fucking Skyrim. I haven't played that game in a while. I kind of just quit playing it after the last update when the glitch was. Every time I went in the water, I'd fucking die. So uh, other than that, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into that. Might edit this video out because it's now at 10 minutes. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.